Hi friends, we are going into the second class of module 4, Automatic Generation and Voltage Control. So in this uh, class, we are going to study the first topic. We have already studied the introduction to this module. And now we are going into the first topic, Load Frequency Control Single Area Case. For studying this load frequency control, we are going to consider the problem of controlling the power output of generators of a closed electric area to maintain the scheduled frequency. That means this problem is to maintain the scheduled frequency of generators who are working in a closed electric area. How it is being done? It is done by controlling their power output. Okay, so what does this mean? What, what does this mean? Uh, the generators which are working under closed area, electric area, what does it mean? All the generators which are working under such an area, they constitute a coherent group so that all the generators, they speed up and sl slow down together maintaining their relative power angles. Such an, uh, such an area, such an uh, uh, area is known as control area. So we are considering a single control area. So in this single control area, the power output of the generators are being controlled so as to maintain the scheduled frequency. So this will be understood only by analyzing a complete steady state model. Okay, the steady state analysis can be done only after getting the models of these three different parts. One is turbine speed governing system and its model. The second one is the turbine model and the third one is the generator load model. By understanding the three models, we can combine these three models. These three models can be combined together to make a steady state analysis. Okay, and the steady state analysis can be used for studying the load frequency control. So this is what, uh, what we are going to study. So in this class, we are first going to study what is uh, this turbine uh, speed governing system. Okay, so what is turbine speed governing system? We are going into detail. Uh, the figure, I'll show, I'll show you the figure about, about the turbine speed governing system. It shows the schematic representation of uh, the speed governing system of a, spe of a steam turbine. And we are going to consider a single turbo generator system supplying an isolated load. Okay, uh, so a single turbo generator is considered to which is supplying an uh, isolated load. So we are going into the schematic diagram. Let us go into the uh, figure. And here you can see the schematic diagram of the uh, turbine generate, uh, speed governing system. So there are mainly four parts for this. Mainly four components are the first one is the flyball mechanism that is flyball speed governor. That is the first one. Second one is the hydraulic amplifier. Then third one is the linkage mechanism. This is this whole thing consists the consists of the linkage mechanism. And the fourth one is the speed changer. So these are the four important components of the system. First one is the flyball speed governor system. Second one is the hydraulic amplifier. Third one is the linkage mechanism. And the fourth one is the speed changer. So what about the flyball mechanism or flyball speed governor? We will be going detail into each of them. So what is flyball speed governor? It is the heart of the system which senses the change in speed. If whenever there is any change in the speed, it is being detected or being identified by the flyball speed governor system. As the speed increases, the flyball move outwards and the point B on the linkage mechanism moves downwards. So what does it mean? when the speed increases okay when speed increases what happens this starts to rotate this is the flyball uh, this is the flyball these two are the flyballs it starts to rotate and when it is rotating what happens due to this rotations uh, the speed of the rotation uh, the this linkage mechanism this link will be going downwards okay so which means b will be moving a little bit downwards so this is how it starts to control the system and when the speed decreases the opposite happens so what happens if the speed decreases what happens the flyball again turn, returns back to its back to its this uh, back to this position and what happens by which the b portion it moves upwards okay so this is how uh, the flyball governor is flyball speed governor is doing its functions okay the next one is the hydraulic amplifier. 
So what is a hydraulic amplifier? It consists of a pilot valve and a main piston valve. Okay, it consists of a pilot valve and a main piston valve, sorry, arrangement. Okay, and the moment of this low power level piston valve, it is converted to high power level piston valve. And, but uh, this is needed for opening and closing the uh, steam valve against the high pressure system. So what does it, what all things are being explained here? So that is the second one that is the hydraulic amplifier. So hydraulic amplifier, it consists of a low power pilot valve. This is the low power pilot valve. And this one is the main piston, uh, main piston valve or main piston. Okay, so this is the pilot valve and this one is the main piston. So what is being done, it, uh, it, the moment of this low power, this one is a low power pilot valve and this one is a high power uh, main piston. So the moment of this valve is used for, this valve is used for controlling the movement of the main piston. For example, if this piston valve is, me, sorry, this pilot valve is moving upward, what happens? You can see that this whole arrangement will be moving upwards. So what happens? The high pressure oil will be getting inside. It will be going through this part, this part and this way and it will make the main piston to go downwards. So by the moment of this low power uh, pilot valve, it will move the uh, main piston valve which is directly connected to the steam valve. So which will make the steam valve to open. Okay and the reverse happens in the other case. What happens? If it is moving downwards, okay, if it is moving downwards, then what happens? If this system is moving downwards, then this whole thing will be going downward. The high pressure oil will get inside through this part, okay, and it will make the main piston to move upwards by, thereby by closing the uh, steam valve. So this is how the uh, pilot valve and main piston valve is working in the hydraulic amplifier. So it is mainly uh, used for uh, opening and closing the steam valve against the high pressure steam. So this is the hydraulic amplifier. Next comes the third one that is the linkage mechanism. So what is a linkage mechanism? There are mainly two rigid links in the system. Which are the two rigid links in the system? I am just explaining it. A, B, C is one rigid system. C, D, E is the second rigid system rigid link mechanism so in this case uh, a b c b is a is the main uh, pivot pivot of the link and d is the pivot of the link of c d e okay and this link mechanism provides a, uh, a movement to the control valve in proportion to the change of the speed according to the change in the speed this link mechanism provides a movement of the control valve so that is the uh, purpose of using this uh, linkage mechanism then the last one is the speed changer so what is what about the speed changer this is the you can see this is the uh, speed changer okay it provides a steady state power output setting for the turbine so according to the uh, speed it can control it how can we do for example uh, its downward movement uh, opens the upper pilot valve so so that more steam is uh, admitted into the turbine under the steady state condition what does it mean? Uh, for example, uh, the downward movement of the speed changer, which means the speed is increasing. That is the race, race. Okay. So the A side, that means this portion goes down. The C goes up and we can say E will go down. So what will this make? The lowering of the speed changer will cause the uh, this uh, this valve to open more and it will make the more steam to enter and this will uh, make more steady power output okay and the reverse happens for the upward movement if it is moving upward which means this portion goes downward this one upward this one downward so what happens this will go upward which means it will be closing the steam valve and thus it controls the uh, power output according to the speed so that is the purpose of using the speed changer. That's, for, that's all for the, today's class. We will study the model of this turbine uh, speed governing system in the next class. Thank you for listening. Bye.